welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. So today we are doing a artwork using makeup. Now I've just picked up a cheap children's um, colouring in book, just in case it kind of bleeds through. I don't want it to ruin one of my nice colouring in books. And I picked up this picture because it seems like a pretty sort of standard pirate. And I thought he could do with a bit of glitz and glamour and be a bit beautiful. So what I have here is a set of shadows. They are just some standard eyeshadows. I did try this with water, that's why they look a bit messed up, and it didn't really work. So what I've got here is some solvent. It's the same sort of paint thinner type solvent you would use for oil painting. You can use something like turpentine, but that might be a bit smelly, or something similar. Um, it just needs to be something that can break down the, the shadow and make it into more of a paste. So what I'd recommend to do is you probably want to start with maybe swatching what the colours look like. So I grabbed a bit of paper here. And we'll swatch the colours and we'll see what they look like. So I found that I used the brush that came with it. And the reason I did that is because I didn't really want to ruin any of my nice brushes. And I really don't wear much makeup, so it seems like kind of a waste. So now we've swatched all our colours, we can see what they look like. Once they're dry, they're going to be a bit more dusty. But, I don't know if you can see that in the light. <laughs> there we go, that's a bit better. But they've all got a bit of sparkly glitter in them. So I'm going to use these colours and I'm going to be doing this lovely pirate. So let's tuck that on that side and we'll figure out what we want to do first. I was thinking I might do the bird. Uh, maybe do him in, in a bit of red. So let's get the black off of the brush so that we don't mix colours and we will get a bit of this red. And I'm going to do the bird. But as you can see, you can literally use the um, eyeshadow as a type of almost paint. And it paints quite nicely. I didn't want to go the whole using every single part of my makeup, because there's some of my makeup I still use. But I just haven't used this very much. I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow. Um, I have like just a couple of eyeliners and that's probably all I wear, a bit of eyeliner and that's about it. And how about we grab a bit of this kind of purpley colour and I'll do his thing. Now these colours are not going to be at all sort of accurate to what a bird would be, but I thought maybe it might look pretty with the glitteriness. So do his wing there. And you can totally see the colours. Get the colour off there and maybe the head. Oh, maybe this line here can be blue. This brush is not very good for painting. It's a little bit too big. But hey, I don't just use what's included. And I think if I get the red, and we'll do his head. Be careful of his eye. That's not perfect, but she'll do. It's kind of difficult to paint with this, but I thought it would be a fun experiment and see how it turns out. So do that bit there. I just want to do his little foot. So as you can see, it's starting to come together.
your colors left to use for next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this. And just so you've got bled through, I'm going to end up with this all over my hands if I do this. Like, it went through a little bit, but to be honest, this is a really, really cheap book, and it's mostly the solvent that went through. So once the solvent dries, as you can see, I have coloured in other pictures in this book. But once the solvent dries, I think it will be okay and it wouldn't destroy the book too much. I will tell you this is a pretty messy process. Like I have a lot of what I can feel is, you know, stuff on my hands. But I would probably put a piece of paper in here too. Like, I'm going to leave this bit of sheet of paper in there because otherwise it's just going to transfer on the other page. But I hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a sunshiny day.